children of the sun The thing that can be so mystifying to so many is how does divine spirit conscious thought and reasoning and action apply in everyday life? How does this consciousness of higher peace apply to those personal circumstances and encounters that one has to deal with right now, staring one right in the face? The I and I have stated for over 45 going into 50 years that one must have enough nutritional intensity and whole life energy to fuel the brain with a greater level and degree of capacity to think, reason, and act. Clearly, the mass majority of man, he and she, have become so dulled out and numbed into oblivion that there is no critical thinking going on, only the repeated hypnotic programmings of walking around like the living dead, zombies, and sleepwalking worker drones. The media is the mass programming tool that dominates and controls one's attitudes, values, behaviors, and beliefs while allowing one to feel that one's self is independent, sovereign, and exercising free will. In the meantime, a hidden power is at work, sucking, sapping, and draining one's life energy, maneuvering one like a puppet on a string. For example, this much-publicized Zimmerman trial that everyone is talking about is a clear and obvious setup perpetuated by the nature of opposition. Yes, the nature that opposes supreme love and the essence of life. What we see is a historic and deeply imprinted fear that lurks within the pale mental mindset, which targets the solarized male as a threat, a danger, and a foremost opponent to the white supremacy male and his supremacy ideology. We have a male identified as a white Hispanic, whose thought, reasoning, and actions have been exposed as a case study of the nature of opposition, where violence and death are the final outcome, for whatever reason. On the other side is the black teenage male who is now dead. The charge is second-degree murder. The justification given is self-defense, although the defendant was definitely on the offense. The judge and jury is female, predominantly white, a sign to decide the verdict of guilt or innocence of the defendant. However, in this case, one better believe that there is much more going on than the appearance of things. Yes, there is much more that meets the eye. The trial is about much more than the individual self or one person killed and one person who survived. This is a case about profiling the kind and type of profiles that represent the personas, personalities, and identities that have been projected and established by the pale mental mindset. There is definitely a manipulation of the female by the dominant male of the deaf culture. She has been used and continued to be used, regardless of her race, creed, or color, to nurture and maintain his white male supremacy mindset. Yes, the female nurturing of this supremacy mindset entitles the white male to erect his social order and assert his will against those whom he perceives to be a threat or an obstacle to his supremacy agenda. The shift is occurring right before our very eyes as the balance of power being played out in a drama where justice is not the issue, truth is not the issue, and correction is not the issue. The issue is that the pale mental mindset will continue to perpetuate sexual violation, violence, war, and crime, and will continue to intensify the nature of opposition into the extremes of angry, hostile aggression, and rage as the dividing lines become even more defined. The divide-and-conquer game perpetuates the us-against-them vibration within this spiritual war, where the energy that opposes supreme love and the essence of life is gaining complete domination and control of the minds of the majority of man, he, and she. What is this setup really about? 
And how can one become a part of the solution instead of being one more instigator of the problem? Don't settle for the hype where the scapegoat carries the blame and the pale mental mindset is justified. In fact, do yourself, do the entire planet a favor and consume this most vital and necessary text. Act now while there is still time to implement whole life change. Regardless of one being blonde or bald or not to dread, regardless of the color of one's skin. Wake up, wake up, it's time to rise up. Resurrect the garden culture from which we come, no. Set the yarn, vibration can bring we down. With supreme love around me, I tell her now. 